What's good, YouTube man? It's your boy CJ, aka No Limit CJ. Welcome, welcome back to another video. Now, today I'm gonna show you guys the top VC methods on NBA 2K22 next gen on this game. You know what I'm saying? Current gen 2 is included. You guys can use some of these tips, but I'm gonna get you guys ready for the next gen peel. This game is so dang expensive. Now, if that sounds good to you, man, make sure to hit that like and subscribe button, bro. Come with videos all like this all year. You know what I'm saying? All 2022. Appreciate all the love and support y'all been showing me, man. Let's get straight to this video. I'm not gonna waste no time. First things first, man, you guys want to go to, you know what I'm saying, options, get VC, you guys say I have 25,000, but you know what I'm saying, but you guys want to make sure you guys start off, I recommend starting off with 75,000 VC, I feel like you can notice a difference with VC when you start off with VC, right? If you go from zero VC to uh, 15,000 VC, that's that's slight, you know what I'm saying, because shoes cost 15,000 VC, right? If you go from 75,000 VC to 90,000 VC, you notice more of a difference. Same VC, same VC amount, but you know what I'm saying? You just have more to start off with. So I recommend starting off with 75,000 VC. My best tip to y'all, you know what I'm saying? You're going to notice more of a difference. You're going to feel more of a difference because this game is so expensive. Now, my first piece of advice to y'all, you know what I'm saying? I need this hoverboard so bad, but first things first, man, you want to hit that wheel, right? Because you never know what you can get. Now, there's 365 days in a year and 365 days of 2K, basically. You, can, you have 365 chances to get a good amount of VC in this game. Now, I'm not saying it's guaranteed, but I'm taking that chance you know what i'm saying i'm taking that chance every single day so if you get level 26 on the wheel you can get really you know what i'm saying whatever you want for instance me you know what i'm saying i'm gonna show you guys in a second let's see what bro gets real quick 500 vc that's 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 not bad you know that's 500, 500 more vc that you did not have you know what i'm saying but i'm gonna show you guys a clip on your screen right now that i actually was able to get 250,000 vc when i didn't even need it first of all but it was like dang bro you know what i'm saying i'm gonna take every single chance i get now i have next gen on p p5 and xbox you know what i'm saying so i really you know what i'm saying take advantage of every single Single time i'll be spinning the wheel every single day type thing you know what i'm saying highly recommend it's probably your best recommendation for y'all boys you know what i'm saying even when you're not on the game like you can get on two minutes bro and do that you know what i'm saying it's like a two minute thing you can really do get on the game straight up do easy to do bro my second piece of advice you know what i'm saying since we're right next to it you know what i'm saying it's antio now i'm you don't have to be the best player to go in here but i will still take that chance it's like gambling you know what i'm saying you never know what you can get out of it you might verse the best team you might verse you know what i'm saying people that are as good as you or not as good as you you know what i'm saying it happens all the time but you know my point is you know what i'm saying you can go to the 10,000 court and get 20,000 or you can go to the 10,000 court and lose 10,000 it's really you know it's all gambling but really bro it's a really good advice to y'all bro there be people trying to run with people without a team, you know what I'm saying? So I would recommend, you know what I'm saying, give it a shot, bro. Give it a shot. You'd be, you'd be surprised at what you can really gain from this. Especially with a good squad, bro. I feel like you can win a good fortune, a good portion of your uh, anti up games. Get some warm up games, some warm up games beforehand. And speaking of warm up games, you can even go, you know what I'm saying, to the Pro M 3v3, which is my third tip, bro. Pro M 3v3 slash rec, whatever you really want to call it, you know what I'm saying? We're just going to put it all in one, right? Rec and Pro are really good VC methods, and especially Pro and 3v3. Every Pro and 3v3 get, you're gonna get about 700, at least 700 VC, bro. At least 700 VC for a Pro Am dub. So let's say you get 10 Pro Am dubs, that's seven seven thousand. You know what I'm saying? You get 100 Pro Am dubs, that's seventy thousand. You feel me? That's just, that's like that's like twenty dollars. Twenty dollars you just save because you're wanting a hoop. You know what I'm saying? When you get on 2K, you want a hoop. A lot of people look like that. You know what I'm saying? That rewards and everything get down on themselves. Bro, I play this game to hoop, bro. So if you go to Pro Am and win 100 games, bro, you get 70,000 VC. I think that's a good. Game gamble plus if you get the jordan player of the game or the best player in the team you get an extra vc bonus i'm taking that chance you know what i'm saying if you if you got to just call up your call up your boy you know what i'm saying go to group, make a group post or whatever and if i brought like you see you cut, cut bro off invite him to squad you know do what you gotta do bro do what you gotta do really get some runs in with your boys you know what i'm saying i think it's gonna be all worth it at the end of the day and also the rec center you know what i'm saying slash prone for 5v5 you do get about what uh i'd say a thousand vc per game if you win and about 500 if you lose so it's almost the same thing but pro 3v3 is way faster it's like games like this really bro if you like you know what i'm saying you're hooping the right way you're winning it's gonna be games like this bro it's gonna be really fast you know what i'm saying i don't really want to wait 20 minutes to see if i win or lose you know what i'm saying that's just not my, that's not what i like to do that much now apart from this area over here i'm gonna go to tip number four and that's gonna be my career and also the quest now tip number four is gonna be my career now you guys see i'm only what game am i in i'm on the bench bro i'm on i'm in like game six right i'm in game six and simming is a lot different on next gen. you can't really sim games you feel what i'm saying and simming is a lot different you can't really sim games you have to send them like right here and sometimes you can't even play a game until you do a, like a talk with kendrick perkins he don't stop talking but look you know what i'm saying your first season you might not give that much vc the second season you're gonna get a lot more so i would recommend playing my career even like honestly the story mode's really good and i don't really play my career like that i will admit this is a really good story mode but it's just the vc you get from it even if you go on hall of fame you're gonna get about a thousand six hundred right you go into your second season where you like almost get a crazy contract like two thousand vc per game you double that it's like 4k per game so really bro you play a lot of my career bro 
your endorsements are gonna go up one you're gonna get more quests all that good stuff and that's gonna lead us up to our point five but i will say that micro is a really good method to get vc consistent method it's not gonna like you know what i'm saying let you down when you get vc the more you play micro the more you're gonna get different you know what i'm saying quests and, and uh endorsements and all that good stuff bro you're gonna get a lot of vc able to get vc and you know what i'm saying upgrade your player even more now, like i said it's gonna lead us to our fifth point and that's gonna be these quests so you guys say a quest quest over here you know what i'm saying in the quest area and you're gonna see that all these quests pop up like for instance the toll line right keep playing nba games and proving you deserve more minutes so i get a thousand five hundred vc for playing more nba games you know what i'm saying you can play my career but these don't only count for my career you can even play park you go to the city mvp right you get a million my player points and i have five hundred twenty five thousand. you know what i'm saying i haven't been playing with this build that much ten thousand vc in the penthouse you get the zip line five thousand vc for six hundred thousand tucker johnson else you get twenty five hundred vc like it's just a lot of stuff like that bro you can get a lot of you know what i'm saying easy vc by just talking to somebody more quests are going to pop up while you play my career while you play park all that good stuff you'd be surprised at what you can really get you know what i'm saying all i gotta do so you're telling me all i gotta do is talk to brody and i get you know what i'm saying uh a thousand five hundred bc that's slight you know what i'm saying you just go to go to him right now mark him on the map you just press x or a you mark him on the map you could go to him you know what i'm saying get some easy get some easy vc bro that's easy vc if you go over there shout out to my dog jv man shout out to my dog jv but it's slight VC, bro. You can really go crazy with the VC and everything like that. And like I said, the more you play my career games, the more you play City Center, the more you play anything in the in the neighborhood, bro. You talk to people, you're gonna get a lot of more endorsements, a lot of more uh, quests to do, and it's gonna give you a lot more VC to earn. So there's a lot of VC to make out here, you know what I'm saying? Shout out to my boy Mama because he told me that he played probably like 20, 20, 25 minutes of my career, bro. He got 35,000 VC. I'm trying to say like the more you play my career, the more you do these quests, bro. You're gonna notice these VC start piling up. It's hard to notice when you know what I'm saying you start off with zero, but you start with 75 like i said earlier bro it's gonna you're gonna notice like the 75 to 100k it's gonna feel a lot different if y'all still watching this video comment down below what build you're rocking for this game you know what i'm saying one you know what i'm saying i'm trying to see who got the best build in the comment section start a debate with whoever you know what i'm saying if you think you got the best build debate with the dude but also people be trying to run people be trying to run all the time you'd be surprised so hit, it, hit someone up you know what i'm saying find yourself your teammate you know what i'm saying run up some threes run up some fives whatever you want to do my fifth tip for y'all you know what i'm saying is going to be the daily spin or the daily pick them you know what i'm saying i'm gonna go over here right? i'm gonna press x i'm gonna show you guys real quick you know what i'm saying you know predict whatever winner i already did my picks on xbox i ain't gonna lie but you know what i'm saying it's just it's just like you pick whoever thinks who's gonna win nuggets versus warriors is a tough one but the warriors been struggling a little bit right now as of right now so i'm going with the nuggets Timberwolves are going to smack the Magic. My Celtics, I'm sorry, Jay. The Celtics are smacking the Pistons, bro. Hawks can beat the Clippers, but the Clippers don't lose for some reason. But you know what I'm saying? You can just like, it's like a little bit of debate. So you can even pick the other team on the other console if you have an other console. But my point is, bro, you know what I'm saying? You submit your picks, you get 100 VC per pick. So that's like, if you get five right picks, you get uh, 400 VC. There's usually a lot more teams playing. If there's a lot more teams playing, then you're going to get a lot more VC. And you can do this throughout the year. So that's like a daily, that's daily, you know what I'm saying? VC, daily easy VC if you go over here. And it wouldn't hurt a little. <laughs> a little VC wanna hurt Ronnie, you know what I'm saying? A little VC wanna hurt. Now my last and final tip, not really least, but my final tip is going to be park. And this is, you know what I'm saying, a common thing. It's just that Park doesn't give you crazy VC. So that's why we out here rambling. How do you get VC in this game? That's why you look at this video. But Park is obviously an easy way to get VC. You hop on the randoms court. I, I feel like in next gen, bro, people are always running games. Like, there's really no empty court. There's one empty court over there yet. But other than that, bro, you're going to get a lot of games consecutively, bro. I would recommend, you know what I'm saying? You know what I'm saying? Even me over here, I can hop on right here. This uh, glizzy dude, pause, can you hop on with me? We can get some runs in. Might run into somebody, bro. Even when I play with randoms, you know what I'm saying? Not necessarily random. I'm, I'm usually always running with no limit game though we always running you know what i'm saying if i, I there's, there's never a point where it's like oh i don't have a game because you know what i'm saying my game with me there's just so many ways to really get vc in this game and this is probably the most effective methods because you don't want to be vc glitching out here and getting banned bro you know what i'm saying you could i could have put a vc glitch in here but i'm trying to be i'm trying to help y'all out because y'all don't want your accounts you don't want to wake up and your accounts banned bro that's that's an l day i ain't gonna lie last thing you want to do is get banned so i recommend doing all these methods man you can do some of these every single day matter of fact you can do all these every single day you can make a new player and do the quest all over again bro you feel what i'm saying so do what you can bro make the most out of this game because at the end of the day no one's trying to blow a thousand bucks on a build bro because you know the next gen especially bro y'all know these builds cost dang near like 50 bucks just to get the 90 overall or even 85 so you know what i'm saying my tip to y'all bro do these methods right here do it the safe way don't get banned and get y'all vc up hopefully these tips helped you in any sort of way if they did hit that like and subscribe button comment down below let me know they work too but some of that vc you can make this new official john moran build that's taking over nba 2k22 next gen click this video right here click it bro